Hi guys, my name is Jessica Horn and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to talk about my minimalistic hospital bag and also my baby's hospital bag, which will pretty much be in the same suitcase. So if you're interested in that kind of video, just keep watching. All right, so I am currently 37 weeks pregnant and it is already time for baby to come. She can show up next week, two weeks from now, or even what, whenever I hit 40 to 41 weeks. Anyway, that means I need to get my hospital bag ready and it actually should have been ready, but yeah. All right. So, with this hospital bag, I am trying to keep it as minimal as I can. I do have a one and a half year old, so I already knew and know like what the hospital provided and then like what I actually need. And so, yeah, it's pretty minimal. Uh, I didn't really overpack anything, uh, at least I don't think I did, but anyway. We are going to start off with what I packed for the baby. And everything I packed is going to be in a suitcase. Um, and that's gonna be everything. So I'm just bringing that suitcase. And so for baby, everything is in this Ziploc bag for baby, except a swaddle blanket. First, this is her swaddle blanket. Um, just a blanket to swaddle her in and my hospital actually provides a blanket as well that you can swaddle a baby in but i'm just gonna bring my own just because it's cute and it can be used as like a little blanket for her whenever we go um home and so yeah and then now everything else is in this bag so first we have the birth cloth and um I didn't use this with Kai because he never spit up, but I have this just in case she, you know, might be a baby that spits up a lot. And so I just have one for her because I can always use her swaddle blanket or the blanket that um, the hospital provides um, if this one gets too dirty. Then I do have some Destined cream and I'm probably not gonna use this, but I got this just in case uh, if she did have a little rash. Um, you never know. With Kai, he didn't get a rash until probably like right at, you know, after like six months or so. Um, but I brought this just in case. And then I have two pair of white socks, just plain white socks for her and then one pair of little mittens. And so these are for whenever baby, they come out with like super long fingernails. And so she'll just wear these so she doesn't scratch up her face. So I got these. As for outfits, I pack three different outfits. Two which are newborn size, um, one long sleeve and then one short sleeve and then one which is um, the zero to three months. So if she's like um, a bigger baby, then she can wear that outfit because I have no idea if she's going to be a small baby or if she's going to be a big baby. So for the first outfit, I have a little white headband that she can wear. And these are her uh, outfits to go home in. So her going home outfit, I think that's what they call it. Um, and then I got this little cute pink blush um, onesie to pair with these little leggings that are super cute because they have like a cute little bow there <laughs> so she's just gonna wear that with her little white headband um, that's the first outfit and then her second outfit is a long sleeve and this is for if she's like a, a newborn newborn like tiny baby um, not like super tiny but tinier than the first outfit that I just showed you so this is just a super cute long sleeve onesie, blush pink and has like brown reddish flowers all over. I love this. 
And then with this, I got um, just a gray pair of newborn leggings to go with that. And also I have a cute little bow that can go with this little outfit as well. So with the third outfit, this is for if it's like warmer outside and if it's a little bit too hot for a long sleeve. And so I got a short sleeve that is um, so cute. Look, <laughs> locally grown. And then with this, I'm going to pair it up with these super cute little uh, black shorts bloomers type things that I'm going to put her in these super cute black stockings which I think be so cute and of course she has to have a bow and so I got this cream bow to go with the outfits but that is her third outfit and all the clothes are washed in uh, laundry detergent that's specifically for newborn, which is very, very important. If I can give y'all any tip out there, make sure you wash your newborn's clothes before you put them in it. So that is it for um, baby girl's clothes and her little hospital Ziploc bag. That is all I'm bringing because my hospital does provide wipes and they do provide diapers. And so I don't need to bring any of that because they're gonna have it. Um, they even have like clothes for them and hats. And so, yeah, I'm not even bringing any of that. But um, yeah, that is all I'm bringing for her. Actually, you know what? I do need to pack a hat now that I think about it. At least a cute hat. Probably a gray one. Yeah, I'll do that. So yes, that's it for baby girl's hospital bag. And now we're gonna talk about me. All right, so in my part of the bag, we're gonna start off with what I am wearing. So I literally just brought, um, I guess kind of like three outfits-ish for my home going outfit going home outfit for my outfit that I'm going home in it's going to be a simple black dress because I don't want I just want to be comfortable a black dress is comfortable to me and so this is the dress this I got from Target it was actually on sale but literally just a simple black dress and it's short sleeve and so if I need a cardigan I did bring one cardigan for this and that's just gonna be this super simple gray cardigan and so if it is cold outside then I'll just wear this little long gray cardigan and I also will wear this like in the hospital too um, if it's cold in the hospital and as for the shoes I'm just wearing black flats and I'm actually just gonna wear black flats whenever I do go into labor at the hospital and so I'm just gonna have one pair of shoes and that's it oh on the same topic of shoes we're gonna talk about bringing flip-flops I am bringing flip-flops and this is for the shower I got this um, I have these flip-flops in the Ziploc bag just because of cleanliness um, so yeah I am bringing flip-flops and the outfit that I'm going to wear after I take that wonderful first shower is just going to be some black shorts. And yeah, these are stretchy, they're big, they're comfortable. Black shorts and also just a black big shirt. That is V-neck because I do plan on breastfeeding and so I can just pop my boob out, feed the baby, and then yeah. And so this is just the outfit I'm gonna wear. Lounging around for the first, what, 24 hours or so, I don't know, but yes. And then the third and last outfit is just, just in case if I stay at the hospital longer than I expect to, I do have this outfit. And that is just going to be really comfortable black um, pants ankle pants and then also this gray long sleeve um hoodie shirt thing which is actually super comfortable but it's super big and just yeah just brought that 
And so that's literally the three outfits that I'm going to bring. And then also with the outfits, I'm just bringing two pairs of plain black socks that I can just walk around in. Um, yeah. And also I'm going to be packing a bra. Um, this is just a plain little kind of bralette bra. I don't wear like the typical padded bras, but these are great um, for nursing because you can just literally just pop a boob out and you're good. And these are super comfortable. So I'll be bringing this. So now I am going to show you guys just the toiletries and the makeup that I'm going to bring. And first, it's going to be this little bag. So in this bag, I just have Q-tips, some hair pins, hair ties, and this little deal that I can help uh, spread out my... What is that? What's that thing called? Concealer. Concealer. And then in here is literally really minimal makeup. I'm just bringing some powder, my concealer, my little eye machine thing that makes your eyes go like, like that. Um, <laughs> and then up here is just a little eyeshadow, mascara, and an eyeshadow brush. And so extremely minimal makeup um, I have. Oh, and also I have, where's my eyebrow pencil? And also I have my eyebrow pencil. I need this because I need some eyebrows. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much for this little thingy, my bobber. And then I have this bag. And so what's in this bag is just going to be my toothbrush which is not actually in here my toothbrush is in my bathroom um, but I am going to write a list of things down that I will need to just grab and then put in the bag because I'm now using it so for example it'll be the toothbrush and actually that little pack right there that has my makeup I'm gonna leave in the bathroom but make sure I grab that before I go to the hospital and then um, I think that's kind of it that I have to grab. Yeah. Anyway, toothbrush, a hair comb, little deodorants, some nipple cream, toothpaste, shampoo and conditioner lotion that I packed in this little travel thingy my bobber it's for my face and just for my body my face wash scrub prenatals last but not least makeup white removers and that's pretty much it that's gonna be in this bag all right and so that is pretty much it and this is how the hospital bag um, it's going to be laid out in this part of the suitcase. It's going to be my things, baby's little Ziploc bag. Um, and then in this part is going to be her little swaddle and then my socks are right there. And then when we flip this over, we're going to put Joshua's things, which is my husband's, and also our electronics in this part. Also, if you have a question of something seems to be missing um no i did not forget to pack underwear um uh, i'm not bringing any underwear my hospital actually provides these mesh panty underwears i think most hospitals do but i literally do not need to pack any underwears because they will be provided so this is super minimal um yeah so that is pretty much it for this video. And if you guys want to see the belly, this is how, let's see if I can, here is the belly. And so, yes, that is my minimalist hospital bag, baby bag, everything bag, all in this suitcase that I am bringing to the hospital. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye.